I'm Lola Salem from Tref Project. So we are currently in Sweden, uh, just for one day uh, at Malmö, I think. So to to come back a bit on what happened um, this past month, because I think we already did a third of our whole survey. When we were in Oxford, we had the quite uh, amazing chance to give two talks. First with the Oxford Career and Personal Development Society and the second one with the Oxford Climate Society. At this point of our journey, it was really at the beginning, since we began with Brussels, then London and then directly Oxford. So we didn't really had a lot of things to share as, I mean, the conclusions of our project as we were at the beginning. What was really interesting, on the contrary, was more to talk about the whole process of giving birth to Trev. Especially Damien and I, as we are the founder of the project, but also Louis, who did a great job uh, the last the last month before we went on the road. So we, we had a great exchange with the, the Oxford Climate Society, so with whom we had the opportunity to discuss about so our work, but also uh, what's behind our work, what's really going on. The idea was more precisely to share the whole stages of the process of giving birth to Trev. Contacting sponsors, uh, for example, NG, Nikon, um, obviously the Ecole Normale Supérieure, uh, where we are all three students, um, PSL, etc., etc. And the idea was to talk a bit about how to shape a contract, how to shape a relationship with someone, uh, especially when it's a big enterprise, as NG, for example. Uh, and we had very, very interesting questions uh, with very, very uh, motivated people. The feedback we had on this exchange uh, was really informative. As some kind of mirror, it gave us also uh, uh, some kind of insight of the whole path we already did uh, before beginning the survey and what we still have to do uh, as efforts, as work, etc., etc., during the next few months to come. It was very interesting to have this exchange with so many diverse people. And I think that's, that's maybe a strength for the future. Maybe managing to discuss with that array, that very broad array of people and maybe, com maybe communicate, uh, maybe speaking their own language, being able to speak their own language, but also being able to communicate something else from another field, from another field, from another eye, another point of view. And that is very important. We see that the energy transition since we started needs to be tackled from a multidisciplinary point of view. So not being confined to one sole uh, discipline. So that was quite interesting. Uh, people in Oxford are obviously really, really interested about doing some kind of same initiatives. But from the benches of the university to really the field. So the other day we went to Karstedt uh, for our first true field study uh, within the framework of Trev. And it's a field which is partly owned by NG with, I mean, quite a lot of, of windmill. I was, I was really impressed. Uh, some of them are super, super tall. I can't rem remember exactly how, how much meters, but like 200, 300 meters, I think. So quite impressive when you are literally at the feet of the, of the windmill. Uh, accompanied by uh, somebody from NG, uh, Adam Yannick, uh, which was a very, very great uh, interlocutor, a very great person to to talk with. After having an interview with him, we went really on the field uh, itself and we had the opportunity to film a lot uh, of different uh, uh, windmills, to speak about him, about technical details. <laughs> 